The Caribbean island of the Dominican Republic is located off the coast of North America. The country's principal sports are baseball, basketball and soccer. But there is one rugby-obsessed man trying to change that. I started playing rugby in 1980 when I finished secondary school. I came to study a degree in economics because it interested me. I liked the business sector and I had a classmate that would always arrive tired and muddy, so I asked him, what sport do you play? And he said, I play rugby. So I asked him, what's rugby? I don't know that sport, I've never heard of it. So he invited me one day. And when I went to see a game, I thought it was very tough and very hard. After I played at university, I decided I wanted to become one of the best in the country. So I trained hard and worked even harder to grow as an athlete. Eventually I received a letter saying that I had been selected to play with the national team. I was delighted. After representing his country for many years, Sori helped form the Rugby Federation with a view to developing the game at grassroots level. When Sori first started, the teams didn't really bother to arrange games or try to find places to play. Sori was the one who always tried to find places for us. He even made the marks on the field. He took chalk with his own hands and drew it like this. So he made rugby happen in the Dominican Republic. My first job was to start shaping the Dominican Rugby Federation. We involved the players in developing our structure. And from there, we started shaping and creating a working organization and arranged the first games with NACRA. We established a number of junior teams and set the foundations for the first female team in the country. I spotted Sorry when he was coaching the girls and he welcomed me in. He explained to me what rugby was, he taught me the basic rugby skills, and little by little he taught me everything I now know. He explained to me that rugby was a lifestyle, that it needed devotion and practice. He motivated me to keep coming, and he told me never to quit. And with the development of the game has come life-changing experiences for those involved in it. I used to live on the street, I used to sell drugs, but I was studying too. Thanks to the phenomenal Sori, a great person, a beautiful person. He brought me here, into this big family, and helped me a lot. He helped me with my university work, amongst many other things. He's an incredible person.